<laughs> okay, so the first time you kissed with tongue, what was that like? So I'm not gonna lie, my first tongue kiss was not, it's kind of like that. So she gave me tongue kiss, but my man's literally told me before, she was like, yeah, that's not your girl, Anderson. She just like be sucking the football same up. I was like, what? And she gave me, like she, it was just, it was just, I felt like I was kissing the football team. If that makes sense. It does. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. That's, yeah. that's my first tongue kiss. That was your first French kiss. Fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think making your bed is overrated. What? Very overrated. Because it, it's going to get in the same situation as soon as you lay down, right? But it's just a presentation. For who? Do you want a, a house with kibbles and bits everywhere, or you want a uh, b organized box with food in it? Off of one bed not being made? Exactly. I had a party last night. My bathroom's through my room. I had my bed made. It looked cra My bed looked crazy. It's but I got compliments on the crib. Why, why would you go to, to a party just for, like... Uh, look at someone's bed. Like that's not that's exactly. not the that's not the goal. That's what I'm saying. But so it's overrated. But if it's a tour of the house, you gonna make your bed's not made. What are they gonna say? That I'm dirty. That's what I'm saying. They they gonna presume. Oh, this is my dirty. Off of my bed not being made. Not but if your bed is not clean, made in the I ain't morning. Got no roaches. My dishes is put. Everything is clean. Fool, but I'm my not, bed ain't made. Fool, like people come over your house, think they're in a the trap because you got a pit bull. And you and you you got like the floor's dirty a little bit, you know what I'm saying? They'll be like, "Oh, he, this is a trap! I can't wait! I'm gonna try this out one day! Can't wait to bring the pounds!" All this is coming from a non-made-up bed. That made, is insane, all Andy. Made up bed. That is insane, Andy. <laughs> Yo, I really get this intro popping, man. What to do, everybody? And thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I'm your host, Day with an I, not a Y, do not X, Y. And today we are joined by. It's your boy, Anime Man Candy, everything so dandy. Recipes, manga, Randy, be chilling on Cut Up Rocks. I just bubbling up per usual. Hold the fuck up. Hold up. My fault, my fault. I gotta slow Hold down up, for you. Hold up, Hold up, Trey. I gotta slow down for you. Hi, my name's Andy, the Man Candy. Everything so dandy. Rest in peace, my Uncle Randy. I be chilling in the cut like peroxide bubbling up per usual. All right, that's more like it. That's a hell of an introduction, first and foremost. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you even come up with that? Uh, was it over time or was it just one time? It was. Like, it was just keep freestyling the same joint and just kept it sticking, and then I eventually made it a song. Uncle Randy, uh, R.I.P. Yeah, real person. Uh, real person. My okay. uncle Randolph is his real name. Okay, but his name after my granddad. His real name mm -hmm. is uh, Randolph. Okay, uh, he's. A, he, I think he was a junior. I gotta research that. R.I.P. Uncle Randy. All right. So first and foremost, I'm glad we made this happen. You know what I mean? And I like to shout you out for being here. I like to shout out everyone in the background. Shout out my dog Cuddy. You got your peoples. You want to shout them out right quick? Shout out Uncle Jimmy. Shout out to Mark. Yeah, yeah. Shout out everyone Licka. in the crowd. If you know me, you know I love an all, a live audience. It's just different with the energy. So shout out to y'all for being here. Um, so you're in Charlotte, man. How's uh how's it been treating you so far? I see you went to cookout. I see you done the typical non from Charlotte. Uh, of course, of course, I'm from Charlotte. Of course, I even cook out. You know what I'm saying? I can, yeah. You, you one of those crazy on the real, like people like in North Carolina and Charlotte, especially, only hit cookout on the late night. Always. That's that's everywhere. I mean, yeah. Ever since cookout's been established, it's a late night food because it's a uh, Waffle House too. Waffle House better than cookout. Pre, uh, eating, I rather eat inside of a cookout mm -hmm. than a Waffle House. But I'd rather eat Waffle House food than cookout food. That makes sense. Because cookout is a whole ambiance. You're sitting down, you're getting the you know, breakfast food. Satire is for fucking uh, Waffle House and shit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you you ain't pay your bill. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, everyone's it's, drunk, so you'll definitely hear some crazy convos. You might catch a bra. Catch a kid in there, like, just eating his food, eating his all-star breakfast versus... And then on the other side, you got... Girls twerking on the on the counter, and then you got yeah, man, shout out to people Wobbles. outside with the motorbike club. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know, it's just, it's just different stuff. Um, what other food spots have you hit since you've been out here? I love Zaxby's. <laughs> Wings and things is like that. The Zaxby's yeah. is like that. Let me. Only, only thing I think is overrated out here. Uh huh. Don't 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 judge Go me. Go for it. Raisin canes, overrated. Raisin canes, they don't have them out here, do they? 
They don't have. We don't have raising canes. It's not the closest one is Clemson, South Carolina. Okay. But we don't have raising canes. I, so I'm from Maryland. We got them back home in Maryland. I okay. went. It's cool. The tenders are good. The toast is. I very thought I was good. from the South. Oh, it's a Sonic. Am I thinking? What's the blue one? Sonic. Sonic is overrated. Hell, with the yellow, with the yellow sign, with the red letters. That's Sonic. Sonic with the skate. Who got a skate? Yeah, that's Sonic. Oh, Sonic I'm, is thinking that was, I'm thinking that was Raisin. No, Raisin King I'm sorry, got the Sonic is overrated. Oh, because I say Raisin King. Bro, the only that. thing Sonic good is for sugar. If you want some free sugar, go to Sonic. Free diabetes, go to free Sonic. Free diabetes, go to Sonic. Since you mentioned Zaxby's. Diabetes on skates. You want to know something interesting? So, uh, like I said, I'm from Maryland. I went to Bowie State University. Shout out to BSU. Hey, hey, Bowie. It's a a a a Bowie. When we, I played football for Bowie State. You know, Bowie State is in the CIAA. Majority of the teams are in North Carolina. So anytime we played a North Carolina team, we were geeked to get Zaxby's. Every every post game meal in North Carolina was always Zaxby's, <laughs> and I loved Zaxby's. I'm like, damn, I can't wait to move to North Carolina and have a <laughs> free pass to Zaxby's. I've been in Charlotte for three years since I've been out here. I haven't had Zaxby's once, not once. We're, I haven't had. We're it once, getting huh? Zaxby's today. I haven't had Zaxby's once. We're getting Zaxby's. I live today. right next to one in University. I just I don't know. It's like okay, I'm out here. I think that it was just the thrill of knowing that I couldn't have it. I don't know. You know, it's like a. Like uh, what's it called? I know you're talking about. I know exactly. I don't know yeah, who it. I, I don't want to say delayed gratification, but like a, I'm. A, it's above me now. Like, it's, it's like it's looking like, past the girl that really likes you and looking at the girl that you really like that doesn't really pay you that much mind. Timmy but Turner, Timmy Turner from uh, Freddie Our Parents yes, type vibe. Yes, like sir. how he liked uh, the girl. Family Matters. Uh, Urkel. Urkel. Yes. He passed up on the yes. bad joint in the show. Yes. And was trying to get that old girl. I was in love with Urkel's girlfriend. Like, I was, she Which was so one, The one that liked him or the one he liked? The one liked? that liked him. Not really? Laura. Not Laura. R.I.P. Fuck. Uh, I forgot was, her name. I just saw someone on She was so she bad. gorgeous. I thought she was the Yellow Ranger when I first saw her. She was gorgeous. And her voice? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. R.I.P. Let's talk, let's talk about all the, all the... Are you big on that? Are you big on women's voices? That... <laughs> is, is that like a thing? For, is, is that a I thing mean, for you? I mean... It depends. Like I never noticed that. It might be like a sensual, a, a sensual voice from a woman. Like that's okay. soothing. Yes, yes. That's I vibrations. Get, yes. That's okay, okay. Soothing. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. As opposed to a woman like a raspy voice. I'm thinking. Yeah, I know, that's something you're just coming from. Like, oh yeah, if her voice deep, is that affecting you? Like, I'm gonna question her a little bit. If her voice deeper than mine. You know so Adam's apple. Not Adam's apple. Just like if she sings. If she sings and she's deeper, her voice deeper than me. That's a pass. Okay, but what but, if she don't sing, she works at. Amazon warehouse and she has a deep voice. She she what the gym does she go to? Plant Fitness or LA? Or we'll Equin give, or Equinox. <laughs> <laughs> That's that DC shit. We'll give we'll give her uh we'll give her um we'll give her LA. Yeah, she's 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 a dyke. She's a dyke? Sometimes a, a, a raspy voice on the chick can be sexy. It's, it's the, it she sounds like she hoop at LA. That's that's a thing, bro. Ah, she hoops at LA. I, I thought, yeah, no, you, you're on to something. You're on to something. Well, listen, Andy, Andy the boss, <laughs> Andy the boss. Um, you are one hell of a comedian and skit comedian. That's what I see most of mm -hmm. with your TikTok and IG skits. Very creative, very funny. Where did this even come from? Uh, I can just tell you a little bit about myself. Please do. Uh, started. Uh, hey, everybody. I'm Anderson Hall. That's my government name. My stage name is Andy the Boss. Uh, I go. I saw, I, I'm 31. I graduated from uh, the Matthew Catholic High School in 2010. Then I went to South Carolina State University from 2010 to 2015. But during my time there, my dad passed away from a, a pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot from his foot to his brain. Mm. So, like, uh, it was it was rough for me to uh, cope with it, like to deal with a parent's death at the age of twenty one, and also try to deal with college yeah. college pressures. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because, and also being a, like a student leader, so it's, there, it's it's harder as a student leader than a regular student. Yeah, and like it was it was just it was just just dealing with that. So, so I went. To, oh. I'm sorry. I, let me ask you something off of that. So did you, as far as like when you went through that? when you were grieving, like expressing that, you were in a leadership position. Was it any pressure on you to kind of hide your expressing and like put up like a, a soldier face, if you would? Uh, it, it was the worst though. Let me tell you, 
I kid you not, cannot make this shit up. So when I got the news that my dad died, my sister called me in front of uh, school. I was at a school, South Carolina State University. She called me in front of the gym uh, that's across the street. She's like, "Dad died." I was like, "Okay, cool." I, I, I took it. I took it to heart. Then I to, then I broke down, and then my aunt pulled up. Uh, aunt uh, Carol. She pulled up with the pastor and because I was in South Carolina, they're from South Carolina. Mm-hmm. So she pulled up with the pastor and uh, said a prayer with me, and I, and I just broke down and cried. So two of my classmates from South Carolina State see me crying with with the old lady and and, and a, pre- yeah. a preacher, so they and as they came over, like, is everything all right? So they, I don't know what they did. They changed the whole Sunday. It was happening on the Sunday. They changed the whole Sunday service. It was Spring Fest, Bulldog Fest. It's spring like spring party. Mm-hmm. So it was a Sunday service, mm-hmm. and. They went. They went to uh, change the whole service. They mm-hmm. said Anderson's dad that passed away, mm-hmm. and they all the whole the whole mm-hmm. auditorium mm-hmm. bowed their head and prayed for my dad at that moment. That's and cool. I was just, I was, I was on stage. I was just like, it was scary. It was scary, but like you know, what I'm saying it's like I believe that I'm here for a purpose. And I need to make him proud, and that's yeah. why I do comedy. As far as that, but let me tell you, uh, I also suffer from depression, and schizophrenia. Mm-hmm. That's why uh, when I left uh, South Carolina State, I went to the hospital for rehab, and I was an inpatient and outpatient, trying to uh, get myself together. Mm-hmm. Then I went to uh, try to go back to school, went to Virginia State University. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's in Petersburg. Uh, it's also a yeah, yeah, school. That's our rival. Yeah, we beat y'all. You know. Well, not uh, not not I. When I was at Bowie, when I was at Bowie State, we got in that ass quick, fast, like Ramadan. What, what, what year is this? The nineteen hundreds? No, twenty sixteen. Okay. That's when they came to our crib for homecoming and thought they was ready to get away with one, and we but we came back down 19 points and bust that ass. But the next year, they got the best of us at their homecoming. I, so. I was literally about to say, I was the, at the next home, 2017 homecoming. We, yeah, yeah, we, I was at theirs. <laughs> no, nah, it, it was always a good battle when we played them. Always, always, always. always crunchy, always crunchy. But the problem with Virginia State, uh, I, was so, I was so focused on making, making everybody believe I'm this, this perfect person that it made me look shallow. Mm. So I felt kind of upset. And then I ended up having a bottle in my room and I got caught. So Virginia State is a dry campus. Really? So I'm over 20, I'm, I was 24 at, when, I was, at, when mm-hmm. I was there, but I was over 21. So they went in, I wasn't getting arrested for having a bottle, but I got kicked off campus. Really? So I, there's a dry campus, they don't play that. I didn't know that. So I, I, I didn't have nowhere to stay, but I still was a student there. So I dropped out. And then uh, buckled down, went to UDC in 2019, mm-hmm. survived fucking COVID, mm-hmm. and then graduated in 2022 with a digital media and concentration of film and documentary degree. That's where I'm at today. What bottle was it? What was it a bottle of? <sighs> Jameson. You got kicked out of a bottle of fucking Jameson? Jameson, bro. And it wasn't a mini joint. It was like it was like like a fat boy, fat boy bottle. And it was just in the trash can too. And and guess who caught it? Who? Two old ladies who was touring the school. It's like, why is there a bottle here? They oh. went all the way downstairs. I was in my room. I was in class. Yeah. So they went. In, they was because I had the the tour room. Yeah. I didn't know it was in my room. I thought mm. I took it out. Type, type shit. Well, I was late like, to class. Type shit. I was. It was just <sighs> over some Jameson. What's a drink that you will never ever again in your life drink? Ever again? Ever again? Four logo. Four fuck. Everclear. Logo. What Diesel. The, what the fuck were people thinking oh, back then? What? And I think the new four locos now have like some. It's not how we. We're talking like what, like oh seven, seven. to like no, no, 2020, 2020, yeah, two thousand seven to like twenty twelve. Yeah, that era of four local where it was like. Red Bull, gasoline, and hundred proof that's, vodka. That's mixed the era in one. of Travis Porter, like girl, I love. And uh, what's that? Rock, what's the what's the dance right here? Flag surf, uh, beef it up, beef all it that. Up. <laughs> what, what, I mean, like, that, that shit was in the stores for us. That to was consume. that was nostalgia, and we were like drinking that shit regularly, like and getting fucked up. Passing I'm, out I'm just trying to figure out kidney failure, who, heart disease. As, as, as the these fuck? people. As these people that are giving us liquor, mm-hmm. they know we underage because we got a college campus. But how did they get school, away man. with that? I was in high school. We was in high school drinking four locos. Me, I graduated in 2013. We were, I mean, yeah, we were like fresh in high school drinking fucking four locos, and that, that shit was awful. Yeah, I will never drink a four local again either. Me, mine is Saveca Vodka. Mm, I will that's never. That's the blue bottle. Yes. And the clear, it's clear, clear, it's clear liquor. Vodka. vodka, yeah. Oh my! I will God. never drink Saveca vodka again. 
Beach Week, Ocean City. So you're from D.C. Mm -hmm. You grew up in D.C. Did y'all go to Ocean City for Beach Week? I, I wasn't grown like that. I, I jumped off the porch late. You jumped off the porch late? I had my first kiss in like 16. You had your first kiss at 16. How was it? I remember it was minty. Tongue or no tongue? No tongue. No tongue? We were we were testing out kisses. Okay. You, like it was a, so you, not like not like French kisses. It was like the you ever you ever you ever yeah. did an Eskimo kiss? Nose. So like the nose. Nose. You know what I'm saying? No, I have not. Then you did you got the uh, butterfly, the eyelash. I did that, and then you got the. Uh, it's your nephew, unk. Uh, it's your nephew on here. <laughs> 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 okay, so the first time you kissed with tongue, what was that like? So I'm not gonna lie, my first tongue kiss was not. If you ever seen the movie, if you seen this, uh, so let, let me just put it put it this perspective. Is this is worst situation, okay. but it felt like like this to me in high school. Uh -huh. So it's a show called Chainsaw Man, and his first called kiss, what? Chainsaw Man. Okay, it's a it's an anime. Okay, oh, sorry, I'm not trying to be a nerd, but like uh, yo, I'm a nerd. Fuck it, live your I'm life. Nerd power. Yeah. So uh, he 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 kissed this girl this girl who's a who's a roller, mm -hmm. a slut, you know, mm -hmm. bopper, throw girl, all that. He kissed her in the mouth, and she gave him tongue, and he was geek. And then she threw up in his mouth. Mine's is worse. So I no. thought. So that's that's the anime. And he and so he all so he's he changed all man. So he signed. A, signed long story. He has to swallow everything. And when he and it touches his mouth, does that okay. make sense? So, so let's, he get had, to, let's get to yours. So okay. mine mine was kind of like that. So she gave me tongue kiss, but my man's lady told me before she was like, yeah, that's not your girl, Anderson. She just like be sucking the football team up. I was like, what? And she gave me like she. It was just, it was just, I felt like I was kissing the football team. If that makes sense. It does. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. That's, that's my first tongue kiss. That was your first French kiss. Fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you? How old was that? It was, it was junior year. It was junior, junior year. high school? At St. John's. I ain't gonna lie. I know exactly. Y'all, hey, if you was a WCAC in the 2010, you know exactly. I ain't gonna say no. It was at, it was at a WCAC school. I ain't gonna say no. I ain't gonna say no shit. names. Um, she was top flight. Oh, God. Of the world. Um, real quick before I ask you this question, I just want to elaborate on my first tongue kiss. It was fucking awful. It wasn't that bad. It was like in the middle. I was in seventh grade, and um, you know we like met in like the little mid medium part of where all the classrooms be at. Her homegirl brought me out of class, and then my homeboy brought her out of class, and they was like kiss, kiss, and we kissed. She was older than me, more advanced, and um, you know I just went for it. I'm the type to just go for it. It was terrible, but I learned from it. I think our teeth clicked and all types of shit. Mm. It, was, it was awful. It was awful. Um, you mentioned she was a roller bopper, all that. So what is the term now from? Uh, in D.C., what's the term from a woman that is very promiscuous? Because it was roller, bopper, like, what is it today? I mean, I think everybody, it depends on what type of promiscuous, does that make sense? So, if she... A hoe. A hoe? Uh, thoughts, roller. Oh, roller. I say, I say gunner. I say gunner. Gunner? Yeah. That's a good one. Gunner, yeah. Roller didn't leave? Roller, roller still counts. Roller's it's been some, around it's for a minute. Some, some young people don't really understand yeah, roller. Yeah, I was going to say, roller been around for a minute. Yeah. Roller, thought. Throw go. Yeah. Um, so growing growing up in DC, what was that like overall? I mean, I was sheltered. I was I was loved by everybody. I had great people taking care of me. Uh like I was like the middle class Richie Rich, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like it, it felt good to be What part of DC? Northeast. Okay. Uh Riggs Park, baby ghetto. Uh oh, baby ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. I had to yeah. put my head up. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm sure they know though. What is it called? Baby ghetto. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh oh, baby ghetto. Uh oh, baby ghetto. That's like we're in trouble. Okay. Uh oh, baby ghetto. Rugs Park. Riggs. Riggs. R i g g s. R i g g s. Riggs. You, Riggs Park. Shout out Riggs Park. You yeah. tell them from Maryland, huh? You measy. Well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. Because here's the thing with that. Y'all come from Maryland, people. DC people come from Maryland so quick. But well, let me ask you this first. Do you say DMV? No, I say DC. 
Me too. Well, I'll say Maryland. I don't, I don't like DMV. Like, out here, they say DMV. I'm like, okay, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah, I can deal with it. When you're out of town, town yeah, because yeah, they kind of. You got to unite with the tiny area. Yeah, it's easy for them to kind of put it together mm-hmm. when out of town. But other than that, no, I'll say I'm from Maryland. But correct me if I'm wrong, D.C. does not bang with Maryland. I mean, oh, deep down, y'all do. But overall, y'all don't, unless it's beneficial to y'all. And what I, and what I mean by that is this. If it's a person, say Kevin Durant, y'all quick to claim Kevin Durant, y'all quick to claim Dave Chappelle, y'all quick to claim oh Martin Lawrence, but yet y'all don't fuck with Maryland. What's up with that? Time out, time out. Like, those names are cool, but like, let's really name the people that's from D.C. Chuck Brown. No, I know like, that. No, 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 like, no, 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 no. You oh. skipped right over my joint. I'm sorry. What ahead. about y'all claiming the people that's not from D.C.? When it's beneficial for y'all. If you heard my song, sorry, now nah, I'm sorry. I uh-huh. literally diss everybody that says they from DC. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the beginning of the song says, This girl just blew the living shit out of me. I asked her where she's from. She's gonna she said DC. Mm-hmm. I said, What part? She's gonna say the Bethesda. Oh fuck. Even I know better than that. What the fuck? That shit blew me. Far as that's fuck. not even that's like right. That's not even close. That's I mean, not, what if she says like Tacoma, that, what if she says Tacoma Park? Would you like that? Slide? I let that slide. Okay. I was born in Tacoma Park. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I was born a Measy. Are you a Measy? You were born in Tacoma Park. Are, is, is Andy a fucking Measy? Ah, oh, all this. Oh, of course, I'm from DC. Da, 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 da. Are you a Measy? You were born in Tacoma I've Park. Done some, I've done some Measy stuff. Ah, like uh, what? What are some what what is what's some Measy activities? What are Measy activities? Living in Bowie. What, uh, what people from DC live in Bowie? They. Okay, you, you just, you just, you I just. I had to. I, I'm sorry. I had to put the pressure on you. Wait, wait, wait. I had to. You, I was not about to go on the road. I had to put the, I, I'm a you, so I had, to, I had to apply. Try, try, right. All, All right, right, what else? What else? All we right, got? so. What else we got? If you a measy, you go to Auntie. I get that. I get that. And so many, so many people from, so I'm from Laurel. But live fucking easy. Fuck you. I so, lived in every side. Sarasville? Huh? You went to Sarasville? Nah. So I lived in the Anne Arundel County side. I went to Mead High. Oh, Mead. I lived in the PG side too, but I still went to Mead because Laurel High School football team was ass. And Mead, mm-hmm. we were like that. So I went to Mead. Mm-hmm. But so many people I know from, just like you said, Maryland in general went to AT. So many people from Maryland. So many. I'll give you that one. That was a good one. That was a good Meezy activity. What else you got? You got any more? Meezy activities. What's a Meezy? Do y'all have Walmarts in DC? Yeah, yeah, we got okay. Walmart. I got Walmart up the street. We got a parking lot in that joint and Chick Fil A. But uh, what's, what else? A, what's a measy activity? If I was a measy, what would I do? <laughs> you are a measy. I would go to Greenbelt Mall and shop, look for Jeepers. Jeepers, look. For, so if you're a measy, you look for Jeepers at Greenbelt Mall. Yeah. What mall do you go to? Me, I go to Heckinger. Heckinger, where's that? I'm lost. That's a DC mall. It's yeah. the shittiest mall in the world. Really? It's literally just Ross, America's best, and Zips. Okay. Like I said, this is DC. This is DC and Maryland right now. I don't. I don't know half the shit he's talking about. No, I'm. I'm loving this. I'm getting educated. <laughs> the only time I really like, I'll go. To, you know, of course, everyone go to DC to party, mm-hmm. brunch in DCs. I've been to DC to party. So I when I I lived in, I went to school in New York, and um, I used to catch the mega bus back and forth like every other weekend. So, you know, Union Station, what is that? Uh, A Street. A Street. What is it? New York? New York Avenue. New York Avenue. So I would, I'm used to that. And then hopping on 50. So I know like the main parts. But if you drop me like in a corner somewhere in DC and told me to get around, I'd be lost. DC is very confusing to get around in. Of course. It's just, everything's named after the state, city, and it's kind of confusing. Do you know why that is? Uh, Benjamin Banneker? Yes, sir. My guy. All right. So he does. For those who don't know, so Benjamin Benjamin Banneker designed the layout of DC and made it very confusing to get around because he didn't want attackers to find the White House easily. And he's black. Yes, sir. Yeah, right hand. Ugh. All right. Um. <clears throat> earlier, you mentioned that you went to Dematha High School, which is a prestigious, prestigious high school. And Dematha in the tall. nation. By the way, it's in Maryland. Again, y'all so quick to be on this fuck Maryland shit, but you went to a Maryland school. Bro, I went to a D.C. school from pre-K to eighth grade. I have only went to a Maryland school. And what's the name of it? St. Anthony's. Do people know about St. Anthony's or DeMatha Moore? Do you know who Georgetown, uh, do you know the coach of Georgetown, what's his name? John Thompson. Yeah. 
he he coached St. Anthony's before he went to Georgetown. Do people know more about St. Anthony's or the math no more? Depends. It used to be a high school. St. Anthony's used to be a high school before it was a middle school. It's not fucking with the math. I'm sorry, Andy. They had people back in the day. But the math had everybody. Come on. You know this. I'm you not know gonna, this. I don't know where I would be if St. Anthony was still around. Okay, respect. respect. You know what I'm respect. saying? It's, it's, it's like, respect. it's a respect. what if, like Lynn Bias, the Michael Jordan respect. conversation. Respect. Respect. And it's it's interesting you said the uh, Lynn Bias. Um, who produces better athletes, D.C. or Maryland? Football, I'm going to say D.C. Basketball, I'm going to say Maryland. Football, D.C.? Oh, yeah. Who came from D.C.? Football. Football. Why are you thinking of that? What's, Navarro, his, name? What's his name from? Uh, why are you thinking of that? I'm sorry. Navarro Bowman. Stefan Diggs. Receivers? A linebacker and receiver. I mean, I, can, I don't have a list in front of me, but this is Dwayne this. Haskins, RIP. Trayvon Diggs. Vernon Davis was from D.C.? He was a good tight end. I'm just, I'm just, I can't think of me from, people all the time in my head, but there's a lot of people from D.C. that are like that. But football, y'all don't, Maryland got football. Has to. Because oh. you got the math too. Brian Westbrook, Maryland. He's not better. Okay, Brian, was, Brian Westbrook was like that. But I'm just saying, overall, screaming things, taking from a from a, a step back from the accolades they got, just looking at their overall career, people from D.C., aside, if they went to the Redskins, that's, that's, that's as far as they went. But like they went to another team, they would they thrive. Does that make sense? I'm not trying to be. Nah, you confused the fuck out of me. Okay, so like, who is from DC? Uh, what's his name? Hayden. What's his name? Some Hayden. Joe Hayden. Yes, He's from Maryland. He from DC. He, he went, went to, to Maryland. He went to a Maryland school. He like went to I friendship. did. He went to a Maryland He's school. From DC. Yes. Okay. All right. I didn't know. I thought he was from Maryland. He went to Friendship. His whole no. family's from DC. No, no, no. What's the what's the what's that school in like the corner of PG County called? Is that Friendship wise, is in DC, right? It's Wise Flowers or no? It's not in the, Largo. No, nah, Friendship is in DC. Right? Friendly. 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 He friendly. went to Friendly. Friendly. Yes. The red, friendly. red, red, and blue school. You sure he went? You sure he's from DC? He's from DC. All right, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Joe Hayden, the Browns do, right? That light skin? Yeah, yeah Joe Hayden. The, yeah, I, but I, I, I remember can't, that. I, I can't. Basketball, I don't really know. I can't let you get. No, you ain't got I basketball. Said, I said basketball. No, I'll give you basketball. I said basketball. Maryland got Maryland. basketball? Yes. I think we got football too. I don't know, man. I think. I don't know. There's some dogs that came out of we, Maryland. We are missing a lot of people that were all Americans out of the. Out of the out of the DC. Yeah, we're missing some. We can't think of any right now. It's yeah. different when you're on the spot. Of like, course, people in the like, comments we're talking be like, about such and such is from, of course, okay, y'all got it. Such and such from DC, but it's different when. Like, um, like, like I was saying, like University of Maryland versus University of UDC. Mm-hmm. University of Maryland. You know what well, I'm, saying? I'm talking about people that grew up in these places. And I, I, I get it. But like, mm-hmm. they, it's also, also about where they went to to say that, oh, they're better than that person. Does that make sense? What kind. stepping stools do they get to say, like, what what do they add into their resume, their football resume? You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? What what accolades are they asking? I'm talking I'm gonna, about. I'm gonna let the I'm, people have to answer. I'm this talking one. about like raw talent. Yeah, DC has a lot of the raw talent, but yeah. it's always it's like the people y'all gonna have to answer this. Who do y'all think has who do y'all think has better athletes, athletes. between football and basketball between DC and Maryland? I'm gonna let y'all answer that. All right, my um, my vote is DC has better football mm-hmm. than Maryland, and I say. Maryland has better basketball than DC. My vote is I think Maryland got better both, and that's not even being biased. Y'all have dogs out of D. Y'all have stars. Measy. Y'all have dog. Y'all have stars out of DC. Y'all got Marvin. You gotta give DC something. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, y'all have y'all have stars. Y'all have figures. But when the athletes, I gotta go across the board to Maryland. Maybe bro, y'all, maybe y'all got yeah. Check. We got we go we, we gonna look maybe y'all, later. We maybe look y'all got pickleball. I don't oh know. But God, I think as far as football and basketball, we got it. We I, got rugby for sure. Have it. Give a fuck. Have rugby. <laughs> it's a gentleman's sport. It's a lit. Did you play sports at the Matha? I played football, basketball, and rugby. Really? Yeah. Okay, so that's why you said rugby. Um, what was that like? So what what separates? Okay, so you played sports at the math. Or what separates the sporting programs? Because there's a difference between a team and a program. Practice. What se- practice. Our practices are different than everybody's practice. How so? Uh, we're kind of ahead of everybody as far as like the health, as far as like the players' health. Like the shit that players are receiving now is like 
should have been there for us. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like new, modern day technology, ice bath should have been a normal thing for football players at a high school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like, you know what I'm saying? If you're doing two a days, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that they're hydrated, not kids passing out. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's always been the case. Like, when you leave, because me with Bowie State, well, as soon as I left, they get fly at, they get sponsored by Under Armour. High school, the same thing. I think whenever you leave, like, a school that you play a sport for, as soon as you leave, shit gets popping. I think that's just across the board. You know what I mean? But but what do you mean as far as, like, what did y'all not have that they have today? You said ice baths. My, my thing is sponsorships and uh, being able to control your your your, your where you want to go as far as like college in high school you know what i'm saying okay. it's it was harder back in the day because you had to write everything and mm. and put submit everything you know what i'm mm. saying get the community service hours get did you have huddle when you were in high school is that the joint for the film? uh set, the film thing it's like where you can like create highlights watch film huddle oh yeah the orange joint yeah yeah, 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 yeah. you had huddle i i didn't have huddle i didn't i didn't have any i didn't have any clips all my clips were <laughs> homemade did you ride the bench? Yes. Okay. Well, hey, listen. First and foremost, thank you for living in your I'm truth. a JV, JV All American. Wait, hold on, hold on, Andy. I got you a question. Didn't, you didn't ask what year I played. I, 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 I made the team. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a question for you. Were you on JV as a junior? Yes. <laughs> That's only my second year playing football. I started football in 10th grade. My first year ever playing football was in 10th grade. And they put me on special teams. Caught my first uh, uh, onside kick. What was your greatest? What was your greatest stat, accolade, highlight as a football greatest player? highlight? Give us a okay, for rugby. Give us on a concussion. Gave a dude from Gonzaga, uh, not Gonzaga, a good counsel a concussion. It's on video. Uh, type in Anderson Hall trucking on YouTube. You'll see it. Holy uh, shit! You were a junior on JV. Yeah, this was my second year ever playing football. I started my football ever playing football like for organized yeah. team, tenth grade. Well, at least you and you played for the math. They cut people, right? Don't they cut people? Yes. JV? Okay, wait. Well, Shout well, out for varsity both years. And the senior year got cut. Senior year you got cut. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, if you were a senior on JV, they, that, I, I, I would have to, about that. I would have had to bid you farewell. This interview would have ended. Yeah, I'm not a senior on JV. That's right. that's not happening. That's, All right. I'd rather um, not play football. So I got a question for you. Yo. It's heavy. All right. I'm ready. No diddy. Any sport. The greatest athlete to come out of the Matha High School. Greatest athlete to come out of the high school. Hmm. Goddamn. I'm a little biased. It's my man. It's my man from my year. It's someone from my year. Who? Uh, it's a track star named Corey Puffett. He's like, he's once in a generation talent that I've seen that I I, I can't compare him to anybody because I don't know anybody on what sport track. Uh, cross country. Cross, cross cross country. Yes, this man can run five miles in twelve minutes. In high school, as a freshman. Wait, five miles in twelve minutes? Yes, that's legit impossible. It's possible that's as a two fresh minutes, as a freshman in high school. That's what two minutes? And you and get the national seconds? player of the year. That's two minutes and twelve seconds per mile. Really? Striding it out. He's tall too. It's not like he's not not he's like six three, six four. Five miles in twelve minutes. That's a two minute and twelve minute mile. Two minute and twelve second mile. He's running that bitch. Really? Can I maybe maybe it's three miles. Maybe it's three miles. No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm, what's his name? Corey Puffett. C uh, I got more research. Y. P U F F E T T. Puffett. Twenty ten. Two C's? Yep. Corey yes. Puffett. National Gatorade Player of the Year and he ran from Maryland. White kid. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, he won Gatorade Player of the Year. Yeah, you know what? I like I like that spin because I'm thinking you're going to say like some type of, you know, basketball players. I don't know. Yeah, who's the best basketball player to come out of the Matha? Basketball player come out of the Matha. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Uh, all time, it's a tie. I gotta say Adrian Danley. and who got more rings? Probably Quinn. Quinn Cook. He didn't. I don't know. I, Quinn went to the math, but he didn't graduate. But I still. Where did he graduate from? Oak Hill. Okay. So he left his junior year. Yeah. And went to uh, Oak Hill. Mm -hmm. Didn't know that. All right. So your boy uh, Corey Puffett, you gassed the shit out of his numbers. I gassed it. He ran 27 minutes and 11 seconds at Penn State's 5.2 mile circuit. 
How, how was that? 27? 27 minutes and 11 seconds, which is still very impressive. Okay, very I'll, impressive. I'll, 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 very impressive. It was something he ran 12, though. It was something he ran 12. It was probably something. It was, so he ran in number three spot as a freshman for the rest of the season, made his college debut at Lehigh Paul short run, and he ran an 8K in, an 8K in 25 minutes. Okay, maybe it's 25. I, I, 12 minutes is insane. He went to Maryland. He went to UMD. Yep. All right. That's my classmate. We graduated together. I had a lot of athletes in my class. I had the Quanjo brothers. I had Victor Lodipo, Jeremy Grant, Jaron Grant, Josh Shelby. Like, all of them. Nice. Yeah. My answer for greatest athlete to come out of the math of high school, easy, Brian Westbrook. I'm an Eagles fan. He's the reason I'm an Eagle fan. Greatest running back to play for the Philadelphia Eagles is Brian Westbrook. Simple. He's a Hall of Famer, of course. Technically, but like out of the math, out well, of in NFL. football in NFL wise, football Chase Young. Basketball drafting wise, it would be Markel Fultz. But it's like that that, that doesn't count because his career. Is, I can't put Chase Young over Brian Westbrook. He hasn't done enough yet. He's still early in his career. He's only played for the Redskins. That's what I'm saying. He's early in his career. I can't give him over Brian Westbrook. Just potential wise, it's playing like you said. I'm not going off of potential. You said, I need can, you said numbers, came data, out of, and statistics. Came out of Damatha. Yes. Like, are you talking about like after they graduated? What's their stats? The whole about, shebang. Uh, it, it, okay, whole shebang. Okay, the whole I see what you're saying. The whole shebang. Okay, I'm Brian, going Brian Westbrook. No, not Brian. Brian. No, 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 we know our shit up here. I, I feel silly. It's a, it's a couple of linemen that are better than Brian West, uh, Byron Westbrook, bro. The, the Quanjo, look at look up Cyrus Quanjo. He's he's legit. Who did he play for? That sounds familiar. He played for Alabama. Him and yeah, his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. He came from the. Ari was my year, and then Cyrus was the number one draft pick for mm. the high school, and he was the number one football player. Mm. And he was a lineman, left left tackle, biggest shit. Not bad. Cyrus, K, just type in Alabama Cyrus K. I'm not looking at it up right now. I'm looking at something else. Oh. But I have a segment that we want to get to. Oh, go ahead. Of, huh? My fault. Go ahead. No, you good. I have a segment I want to get to of this or that. And this episode of this or that is actually sponsored by Just Go Go. So I would like you to shout out the uh, nice hoodies that we have on who was a oh, go -Go, sponsor. Go Go of. University. Shout out Deion Jordan. Deion Jordan, this is for you. Uh, this is his brand, go, Just Go Go. I got the uh, the Georgetown Hoya uh, edition, and I got the colorway with the black edition. Mm -hmm. We got we got a lot of got a lot of going on. Just uh, tap Let's in go, with Go Go University. Their Instagram is Go Go University. G O G O University. And my favorite color is navy blue. So this is on point right now. I mean, as you can tell, the, the chair, my hat, the background. So this is very much on point. I really like this. Just Go Go. Um, I didn't listen to a lot of Go-Go growing up, to be honest with you. Measy. It is what it is. But um, I will say that my favorite Go-Go band, by far, Reaction. Again, I didn't listen to a lot, so I can't really compare it to a lot. But I didn't listen to Go But one song that I fell in love with when I was like 11 years old, Go-Go mm -hmm. song, really the only one I fell in love with, Feel Good, Feels Good by Reaction Band. That's cool. It's like reaction that that one album is like the KD of Go Go. I respect it. Like it's not it's not no disrespect, but it's not like I, I don't listen top, to, not even top five. I mean, I, you're not disrespecting me. This is, is KD even your top five? KD, yeah, basketball players of all time. Not even top five. No, he's not. Thank you. Thank you. Hell no. Is Kobe top five? Yes. No. No. Sorry. Who's your top five? If Kobe... Hot take, hot take. Please don't disrespect. I'm not disrespecting. I'm, I'm not, not going to, but they're going to be on your I, ass. I'm Who's not disrespecting nobody. But no. if Kobe was not dead, he would not be the top Stop. five. Stop it. Right now. They, his, what's his nickname? Which one? What's his nickname? Which one? You know what the fuck was Bean, one? Mamba, which one? What you call him? The Bean, the Mamba, which one? Black, Black Mamba. Mamba. Oh, Black Mamba. What? That didn't come after he died. What's the deadliest snake on this planet? Black Mamba. They have a white Mamba in basketball. What do you what nickname you Who's want? Who's the they white have, Mamba? The Brian Scalabrini. The white Mamba. What the fuck is the matter with this guy? Are you fucking Brian out of your Scalabrini? Mind? The red. Are you? <laughs> he had red hair. White Mamba. They literally called him this because he was with Jimmy Butler. Look it up, bro. What the fuck? What? Look at white Mamba. Did you just compare Brian Scalabrini to? Kobe Bean Bryant? Bro, at the, at, when when Wim Bay retires, you're not even going to think of Kobe Bryant as a top five. Oh, my God. See, you, they're you, barely, they're barely the, putting Larry Bird up there. You live in this potential-ass world. 
It's his rookie Potential. year. Potential. He dropped 30 in 10 He's 10. a rookie. Everybody, what are we doing? What do He's mean? a rookie. He's like this. This is crazy. Who's in your top five, David? Because well, of all time? Huh? Well, yeah, but before you answer that, right. no. People don't People don't praise Kobe just because he's passed. It's because he had that killer mentality. No, it's going to be the same and way. of his work ethic. Bro, I love... I, He's I'm, baby I, I, Jordan. I don't, I you don't. got Michael Jordan, then you got Kobe. As far as that, as far as the killer mentality, ba you have Mike and then you have Kobe. When you call Kobe baby Jordan, you're disrespecting Kobe as a as a, as a a basketball player. Well, I'm, ta I'm talking about his killer mentality-wise. No don't. other two players... Does LeBron have that killer mentality that Kobe yes. and Michael? Yes! <laughs> and I don't even know basketball all the way like that, but I LeBron know LeBron is... Let's, 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 know you you want to hear my top five? Please, just get yeah, Let's all get right. to the number new, one. Top five. Number one, Tim Duncan. He's my favorite player of all time. I met Michael Jordan in Tim Duncan jersey. Number two, Michael Jordan. Number three, LeBron James. You ready? For the, mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. Number four, Kyrie. And number five, drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. What you got? John Stockton? Lame ass list. Who's number five? <laughs> number five, Magic. So I'm not I'm not mad at Magic being in your top five, but it's like I mean I don't Kobe could be number eight. All right. Okay, let me get my top. I only, I'm not even crazy about basketball. Fuck, Mike, Kobe, LeBron, Shaq, um, Ray Allen. Nah, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> That is the most boo boo pick ever. No, no, no. Number five. He's um, trying to pick a, a, a 2K team for the street league. On a real number five, <laughs> I would have to either give to Wilt or Kareem. So Wilt is boo boo. Whichever Wilt one. Is, Wilt made up his numbers. Fine, then give it to Kareem. Um, all right, but anyway, uh, we got a little carried away. We're going to get into this or that, this or that segment. All right, so with you being from DC, I have a this or that mm. DC figures. All right. What did you say? DC figures. Oh, figures. Figures. Oh, what I you thought I said? I thought you said the ER. I was like, oh. DC niggers? <laughs> that is insane. I, I really don't like that word, nigger. Like, people be loosely no, joking with nigger no, on hate, Twitter and shit. No, I really can't Twitter, say that. X is a different world. That's that's a I, uh, where people show their ass. I really, like, where did that come from where we joke with nigger? We say nigger because we took the ER and put an A, a on it and used it as nigger, our own. Yeah, yeah. But like to joke around with the ER, where knowing where that shit really can't like what the fuck? Why do people joke with that shit? I don't know. Um. Anyway, so this is this or that DC figures. All right, <laughs> Maya or Ari Lennox? Maya, the singer from DC. Yes. Or Ari Lennox, the singer from DC. I go Ari Lennox. Just mm. off the strength. I like Maya. That's my man Romel's favorite girl. Like mine too. Shit. Like my and Chris. Uh, what's it? Chrisette Michelle? Not my Chris. K Michelle. Christina Milian. Christina Milian. Was she from DC? I thought she was from Maryland. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm gonna be quiet. I don't All know. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, <clears throat> that's my man Romel girl. Christina. Fat Trail or Shy Glizzy? Fat Trail. I agree. Regina Hall or Taraji P Henson? Both. No Sersky. This don't, say, don't say Taraji. This ain't drink champ, so I don't have like I don't have anything for the medium. You have to Taraji has a better resume, but acting and who has the funniest kids is definitely Regina. So you're going Regina? Yes, she has my last name. Okay. That's family. All right, so Regina Hall. All right. Dave Chappelle or Samuel L. Jackson, even though Dave Chappelle is really Samuel from Maryland, Jackson. but I'll give him Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel Jackson? All day. Cool. Um <clears throat> Uh, Clifton Powell or Earthquake? So Clifton Powell is pinky or Earthquake? Earthquake. Earthquake? There we go. All right. Earthquake, my man. I met Earthquake. Good people. Yeah. Um, Marvin Gaye or Marion Barry? Marion Barry. <laughs> Marion Barry was the mayor. Marvin Gaye was the singer. Marvin Gaye got killed by his dad. Or, Very sad. That was sad. That was yeah. Sorry. Night. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bleep that out. Sorry, that was bleep. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep that out. <laughs> that was... Well, well, they did say his dad cross dressed. But I'm just saying, like, like yeah, that's he, fucked up. He, he shouldn't been. He should I be think alive. it was a jealousy thing. You know? Yeah, just everybody showing his son love, and he was showing everybody was more love than he was. Yeah, showing I think his dad. it's a jealousy thing. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> all right. 
Chuck Brown or Marion Barry? Oh my goodness, that's a tough one. Wait, all right, can I ask you? It's just this or that. Yeah, you have to pick one. I don't have anything for like a, a tiebreaker, so pick one. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Just cause, just cause I want to go for the city, I'm gonna say Marion Barry. Marion Barry or Chuck Brown? Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Um, what is it? Rayful Edmonds? What's his name? Rayford Edmonds. Rayford Edmonds or Wayne Perry? I can't speak on that. Cool. We'll leave it at that. So that's all I got. But uh, you mentioned earlier Christina Milian being from Maryland. So let me ask you this, because I've I've personally dealt with both. Who has the batter biddies, DC or Maryland? DC. DC? I mean, prettier. The like, whole package, the whole like, shebang. Like the if, whole shebang. I'm a whole shebang. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going DC. They like they got the perfect package. Like right behind them will be Baltimore. You know what? That's something I 100% agree on, sir. <laughs> 100. Well, but, Baltimore's third for me. I'm going to put Maryland in the middle. But still, DC, DC, DC's we'll pop, number we'll one. Pop. You talking about PG? We'll All of Maryland. Because you got PG, you got Mo time County, time you got time Howard time County. Baltimore is Maryland. Don't they don't see here's here's I know, here's the gray me, area. No, Baltimore is just like DC. Y'all don't claim Maryland. Y'all don't claim the DMV. When you say DC, you got to specify what part. Sometimes you got to you got to put it on a microscope because like you would in Google. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Oh, I see DCs. Let's zoom in. Okay. You know what I'm saying that's what I'm saying. You said Maryland. Let's zoom in. What part I've, are you talking about? I've never what, what Maryland or DC. What you said you said when you said Maryland over Baltimore. What that's do you mean by that? Everywhere that's except so the main counties. Howard County, PG County, Montgomery County, Anne Arundel County, and Baltimore County, I'll leave to Baltimore. County, so I'll go those four. Howard. Mm -hmm. Just Mon not Eastern Shore. That's what I'm saying. Not Eastern Shore, no. That's Even though the Eastern Shore got some sleepers. No. I done came across. Eastern Shore got some crackheads. Because there's nothing else to do out there. But still, besides that, the four, I would say the four main counties between Baltimore and D.C., excluding Baltimore County. We'll give Baltimore County to Baltimore City. Even though they don't claim them neither, but what the fuck are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going Howard, Anne Arundel. PG and Mo, those four counties. I'm gonna put women from those counties behind DC in front of Baltimore. No, no. But you're from. You're putting in Arundel County in front of Baltimore. I went like, to high school in Arundel County. Are you shitting me? It was so much work, so much work, so much. Don't sleep. Hear me out. Hear me out. Don't bro. sleep. Hear me out, hear me you out. I hear lived me in it. I was hear me in out, it. Hear me out, hear Go me ahead. Out, yeah. So. If you want to do it like by ranks, let's let's let's, di let's digest in the best areas of Maryland. That's what you really want to say. Well, let's do it. Okay, number one, PG County. It, no, see, no, number two, you have to say Mo County for number two. I was about to say Mo. Okay, good. Number three, Baltimore County. But again, I'm giving Baltimore County to Baltimore. I'm saying okay, that, I'm saying Baltimore right there. That that's that's where Baltimore goes. Baltimore's out of this. No, they're in this. It's Maryland. Stop trying to exclude them from Maryland. Are you kidding me? You know how many people from Baltimore I'm do not, not claim I'm Maryland? Trying to, I'm trying to ex the people that don't know that whole beef. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so this is for the outside. Yeah, this is for the okay, outside. Yeah, okay, yeah, dumb okay. it down. That's all. Okay, so we're going PG County, Mo County, Baltimore. Then what? Then around the, and around the country. That's where. Uh, Columbia Mall is, right? That's Howard County. See, you don't even know these Howard spots. County. Thank you. Howard Thank you. Howard County. <laughs> Anne Arundel slash? I'm not mad at that. Howard County is Is, is Anne Arundel where uh, Riken at? Riken? St. Mary's Riken? No. I don't know. Uh, not, Mount St. Mount, Mount St. Mary's? I don't know what that is. Mount uh, Archbishop Spalding, Anne Arundel, uh, Rundle County, Arundel, Arundel Mills Mall, the airport BWI, that's all Anne Arundel County. It's like kind of below Baltimore. <sighs> okay, that counts below Baltimore to me. You think so? I think how it's a little bit. I think but Council Baltimore because you got Brooklyn, which is Anne Arundel County, which is right next to Brooklyn, Baltimore City, or Cherry Hill. I think I think Howard County, Baltimore County, and Anne Arundel County all tied. Into, I mean, uh, what's, what's, what's Columbia? At? What's Columbia? Howard, Howard County. Okay, so Howard County, Baltimore County, and, and Anne Arundel are kind of like the same. Yeah, they just fall in the same category. Yeah, you know, it's what, like that's, it's like the, the like Townsend yeah. Townsend fills in Baltimore. That's not a wild take because a lot of people from Baltimore do end up in those three counties. That's not a wild take at all. I'll give you that. That's a good take. And I I think Baltimore is just they not better than DC joints, but like no Baltimore, DC DC it's, it's it's the attitudes from Baltimore joints that's just sexy. 
Yeah, you know what and that's what and see, people say the same about DC chicks. No, DC chicks. Uh, the the hardest chicks to to talk talk to is New York chicks because they're just mm -hmm. they they have a brick wall you just gotta break down mm -hmm. every time. Not a while take it all, but once you get a New York chick and you lock her in, it's worth it's it. It's, it's locked. It's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. It's one hundred percent worth it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we have our ranks. That's those are good ones. I agree. DC's number one as far as me. Any DC chick I've dealt with. Chef's kiss every time. I'll give you that. But how you like, uh, how you said, you know, you're attracted to that Baltimore attitude. I think just in general, like the whole, the, the like cliche DMV love story that people don't even really realize is DC people dating Baltimore people. Because it's like opposite ends of the spectrum. So it's, it's it's new. It's exciting. You know what I mean? That's how I feel, yeah. yeah. That's how I feel. When, like when you, when you dating a brand new person from a different city, it's always that vibe, like that yeah. honeymoon stage, regardless of who they are. Yeah. It's just the fact when you, when you jump over that honeymoon stage, it's just... Do you get When you get that post-nut clarity and you see that shit, if they're not there after that post-nut clarity, don't pursue it. How long does the honeymoon stage last? A week, two weeks. A week or two weeks? Easily. That's like honeymoon, honeymoon. I would say like a no, month. no, no. It can't be a month. It's not honeymoon. That's just dragging that shit out. Really? You gotta figure that shit out in two weeks if you if it's like if it's going anywhere. If if you serious, let's yeah. lock in. Let's grow together. Let's make this money. Let's let's get this bread. So after two weeks, you really like a chick. It's past honeymoon stage. Are you going straight to okay? We're exclusively talking, or are you taking it slow? Depends if we have sex. I'm. I, if we have sex, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not. A, What's the term? A hoe? Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't. I'm. What's, what's the one? Monogamous, mono one. Uh, yeah, I'm monogamous. promiscuous. Wait, monogamous. Monogamy is one on one. Yes, I think. I'm not. I'm not promiscuous. You're not promiscuous. So you like to just lock it in with one person. Always. Always. Okay. And I that's why. That's why everybody be like, "Oh, Anson's got a new girlfriend." I'm saying, just I just lock in. You did mention you have previously been a habitual dater. <sighs> yes. Hey, listen, brother. But I got a great girlfriend now. Fuck them. Yeah, I was ready to say, listen. I have a great girlfriend. Yeah. Y'all took girlfriend. And y'all took great pictures, by the way. Oh, you saw them drink? Those were dope. <laughs> those studio photos, those yeah. were dope. Those were dope. Yeah, my man. You got the uh the booth experience in DC. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Um, where's she from? Is she from Baltimore? She's from Riggs. Okay, so she's from uh oh. What's the name? What's the baby ghetto? Uh oh, baby ghetto. That's uh oh, what baby ghetto. She's from the uh oh, baby ghetto. Yes. Okay. So all right. So Literally three minutes away. I didn't realize it till happened. So y'all knew each other growing up? No. Really? Y'all didn't know each other at all? No. So how'd y'all meet? We met through a mutual friend. Ah, isn't that always the best? That's the best. It's it's such a smooth transition when it's through a mutual friend. It's the best. Such a smooth transition. Um, I talked to somebody right now. We kind of met through a mutual friend because a mutual friend, I, so on the side, I mount TVs as like a side hustle. And the mutual friend was like, hey, I have a friend that needs a TV mounted. And I mounted her TV. And, you know, we kind of clicked in and it's been smooth since. So we'll see where it goes. I guess technically. He's about to mount her TV. No comment. Plead the fifth. So we'll see where that goes. Technically, it's in the honeymoon stage. It's been two weeks. So. It's over now. Shout out to her. You know, you no, are. no, it's over now. It's over. Honeymoon stage is over. You got to lock in now. You yeah. know what's crazy? Cause guys, this this is the only th the only thing about it. Guys be pro prolonging that shit. Like I'm see, I won't prolong it. I'm gonna take it slow, but I'm gonna let her know. Like, cause I'm I'm I be in and out of situations, but that's because they be unserious situations. But like, Shorty really like me. I like her, and she checks off a lot. I don't. I don't think I've come across one she hasn't checked off. Mm. What the? F it's kind of scary. Honey, honeymoon. It's kind of scary. Just wait for that big, big burst outburst. What's That's it? what I'm. I told yeah, her wait that. For that. Yeah, wait for that. I told her that, yo. I told her that. I was like, listen, everything has been going good, smooth. I need to see that other side of you. This is going too good. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Put. I'm not ready. To use this to make the call. I need to see the bad. What do you say on ATL? The good, the bad, the ugly herbal? I need to see the oh, whole package. Man. I'm not going off of just the good. I don't, you know what I mean? Because I'm a reasonable person. I know the bad is going to come out. And she's a Taurus. So I know that bull is going to come out sooner or later. And I'm a Sag. I'm cool, calm, and collected. So I'm just sitting back, peeing, waiting for that shit to come out. I'm He's waiting. A Sag? I'm a Sag. November Sag. It's oh, a difference. Gosh. What are you? What's, what, are you what, what does that I'm mean? I'm emotional. What does that mean? <laughs> You a cancer? Yeah. You a cancer? Yeah. <laughs> <Did> you <say? 
That's all I gotta say, and they already know what I am. I'm emotional. They ain't gonna judge me. I hate I hate this whole zodiac shit, bro. Ain't it like it'd it be it'd be so wicked. They'd be like, I'm like, hey, how you doing? They'd be like, hey, and be like, how's your day? Good. And they hit you with the. So what's your zodiac sign? I'm no, no, like, no, 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 they, no, no, they don't even ask that. They know the chart. They ask you for your birthday. No, no, I'm saying just the ones that just be straight oh, up with yeah, it. Yeah, straight and up. Okay. They'd be like, what's your zodiac sign? I just be like. Cancer. Oh, you're emotional. I can't click with you. I had an ex. He broke my heart. He was a cancer. I'm like, bro, they know that shit to a T. They have risings and shit. Like you could how are you two signs in one? Three. Three. Well, what the fuck is that about? Grand rising, moon rising, <laughs> under armor, something like that. I don't know. New I mean, like, I'm a Sagittarius. Uh, when were you born? November 29th. Oh, let me look it up. Oh, you born on a Tuesday? Your moon is a is a is an Aquarius. What the fuck does that even mean? Mike. What? Like they I, have it down to a T. Like they gonna say, "Oh, you gonna go fishing this day?" And I be fighting the chart. So like, when the chart be like, "Oh, you gonna have a good day?" I be like, purposely having bad days. Really? I don't want to listen to the chart. That's dope. I'm gonna start doing that. Yeah, you, you gotta do the opposite. <laughs> they be like, "Oh yeah, you gonna have seven kids?" I'm like, "Nah, I, ain't got, I got none." You know what I'm saying? Like, you put out game strong. <laughs> have you ever had any scares? I had a last time I was in North Carolina, which was in. When I was 26. They freaky out here. This girl said, uh, I, I dumped her. We started talking because I was trying to talk to this other girl. And I'm a habitual dater. <laughs> and she pretended like she was pregnant on my birthday. Mm. She's like, happy birthday, I'm pregnant. I was like, but mm. we haven't had sex in three weeks. Mm. You would have told me by now, right? Yeah. Like you would have noticed. Right. She said, like, I didn't want to scare you or nothing, but I think I was like, I was really about to go through with it. And then she was like, uh, just kidding! Happy birthday! And Are you up. serious? Hung up. I would have blocked her. I did. What the fuck is that? Hurts. Women she, hurt people, she bro. Just Women hurt your, feelings. She just really wanted your attention. That's all it is. Mm. Hurt my fucking feelings. Are you the type to put them down easy or straight to the point? I'm. I'm usually like straight to the point. Like, hey, you did this. I don't feel comfortable with this no more. We got to break up. So you're an habitual dater. Has any of them ever broke up with you? All of them broke up with me. I have. I had eight girlfriends break up with me back to back. Really? Have you healed from that? Are you? Uh, did you carry one to the next and one to the next, like a snowball effect? I can never tell. Are you in? Th have you been in therapy? Yes, I've been in therapy. But what does your therapist said? <sighs> Without giving too much detail, of course. My greatest weakness is that I'm not a good listener, and that is a, a key. To a lot of my problems, they say throughout life, throughout life, and not just relationships, but it's been them not listening to me while I've been getting broken up when I was in those relationships. So they'll tell you why they're breaking up, and it usually comes down to I'm, I'm putting I'm I'm either putting the corner boxed in or like ultimatum, giving an ultimatum. Ultimatums are whack. Either you do this or I'm gone. Yeah, I'm like, all right, bye. Those aren't good for anybody. Yeah, yeah, no. Like you should always leave if someone puts you in an ultimatum. Always. You've made the right decision as far as that. But, um, okay, well, I don't want to get into too many details. This isn't therapy, but, you know. It is. It is. Podcasting is therapy. It's, it's nice. Yo, especially, like, with, like, women that come on here and, like, want to know why they're single. I want to know their breast size sometimes. You want to know their breast size? Like when they have them on, say, hey, what's your breast size? Just hit them with that. Like, just giggle off. If they answer it, then that, that means it's go time. You know, but like, <laughs> just kidding. You know what I'm saying? Hit them with that. You know what I'm saying? That'd be kind of funny. Are you a titty boy? <sighs> I, love two, I love two chains. You a vicious titty boy? Oh, are you, are you talking about boobs? Like girls' boobs yes. or two chains? I'm talking about breastesses. Oh, he Women. said titty boy. I'm thinking two chains. You know like we're saying? talking about throwbacks. Are, 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 are you a titty boy? Uh, I, I like I like I like breasts. Uh, I'm more of a uh, pussy guy. Like as long as she got fat lips, you know what I'm saying? It's up. Fat lips. Yeah, that's the shit. Like, I, I've I've knocked down some twos that almost ended my career. You know what I'm saying? Twos out of tens. You Can know you saying? elaborate? Two out of tens, I've knocked down, <laughs> but they had good pussy lips. That's it. That's what I'm saying. Did you eat them? I'm not gonna discuss this <laughs> online, bro. I can't can't discuss this online, bro. Got a reputation to pull. No, I don't eat pussy. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever had good funky pussy? I had 
I had hairy pussy. Like I got yeah. shit stuck in my teeth. Like hair, like hairs in. Like I, I had, situ- I had wild situations with women. I popped cherries. I fucking got bled on from periods. Like it was. You a freak ball. It was a lot of shit. You a freak ball. You ever woke up with blood on your leg? He thought you was dead. You he, he was dead. No, but it was just a girl's period without a tampon. No, uh, <laughs> no, I haven't been through that personally. But one thing that has happened to me once, um, I was sitting my shorty from the back, and like I looked down, I had one ball in my sack, and I had a lump right here. I freaked the fuck out. Long story short, it was my ball that like somehow went up, and it was chilling right here. And it was one ball in my sack, and the other ball was like in my gut, like on my gut type shit. It was the weirdest shit. Ever. How the fuck that happened? I don't know. <laughs> and I just pushed him back down. I just plucked him what back down, fuck? and he went. I was freaking out. I was like, "Yo, I got one ball. What the fuck? What happened to my ball? My ball. Where did this luck come from?" <laughs> The ball was in my in my gut, chilling oh, like, yo, I'm right here, bro, chill. I'll you, go back down. Like, like you should you should have played the song, the gun in your stomach, the gun in your stomach. Bro, I freaked the fuck out. I couldn't believe what I saw, and then it Man, just it just I, went back in the like sack. was it like a like a like those fuzzy balls you squeeze and like gets juicy but look like it's about to pop? I, get, what? No, no diddy, no diddy. <laughs> I'm talking about the kid. That sound wild. All right, take take every Whoa. no take this. this what is, it's purpose to explain? Kids get the squishy stress yeah, I know balls. What you're talking about to well, where did that come from? Like brother? I'm saying, like from your stomach, it like was like oh. stretched, like pushed out. Yeah, it was it was chilling. It was I had, oh. I had to push them down. I had to put it didn't hurt. Oh, but I had to push them down what? back in the sack. Oh, wildest shit ever, Desi. Oh my god, bro! Wildest I'm, shit ever. I, yeah, don't tell was, nobody that, bro. That's just gonna make me not want to have well, sex I, no I, more, I just bro. Told the community that, so it's kind of too late for that. It's kind of too late for that. Bubble, brother. bubble guts. What is that? <laughs> Uh, it, it was I freaked out, but you know we, we made it past shit. it. You know that was that was a it was a one it was the first and last event. So, um, what else you got? When are you flying back? Uh, tomorrow. So, what are you getting into tonight out here in Charlotte? Getting butt naked. And then what? Going to sleep. Oh, <laughs> I'm old, bro. I'm 31. I heard your knees crack earlier. Pause, bro. You can't tell that on camera, bro. That's some ditty shit, bro. They gonna be like, "Oh yeah, he said this on the podcast. He heard his knees crack." W- where was I at when you heard the knees crack? You did something. I think when you grabbed your, when you got up to get your phone, or something happened earlier, and your knees crack. Does happen a lot. Is that healthy? Is it a good thing? I don't know. I'm not a physical we therapist. Are getting up there. I'm 29. We are getting up there. You're not even old, bro. You're not even 30 yet. I'm not. I be t- it's a mental thing. My you mom, be, you trying to be old. I'm not, though. That's a thing. Bro, you're growing a beard. You're not supposed to have a beard right now, yeah. I've had a beard since I was, like, 20. I know. You're not supposed to have a beard right now. It's just Why? keep shaving it, and it's going to be wolfed out by 2030. Why would I do that? Nah, I like I like my joint. It's not fully, fully. I used to have to shock Lizzie, like, back here. It's getting there. Oh, the chops. Uh, yeah, I used to have the chops. But it's getting there. <laughs> it's getting there. It's getting there. I got nothing. Nothing. Yeah, that's what you say. Do I you shave nothing. or is it just nothing? I don't there? got no sideburns. They're blonde. Do you like that? Or do you wish you had a beard? I wish I had the 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 shaft mask. The, t- the tough, like the the manly man, rugged. Yeah. You, you know, can probably grow it if you shave. You ever see Dexter's laboratory when he did the beard joint? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. You could grow it if you shaved. Do you shave? You gotta shave, stimulate the hair particles, keep brushing, stimulate the hair particles. If you shave, it'll grow back thicker. Pause. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell me to shave. Speaking of pause, I got one final question for you. What's your take on these male figures, more specifically in the entertainment realm, that paint their fingernails, that claim to be heterosexual? I'm ahead of the sexuals. Hmm? I'm ahead of the sexuals. Huh? I'm ahead of the sexuals. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? Like, you always got to be two steps ahead of the sexuals and make sure the sexuals not behind you. So they won't be trying to be in front of you because you're supposed to be ahead of the sexuals. Can you break that? Uh, okay. Oh my god! Uh, so like, what are the sexuals? Heterosexual, homosexual, the sexuals, just all sexuals. Okay. You, this this one category, the right. sexuals. Right. We're not gonna label nobody. We're not right. gonna give them no alphabet or nothing. Okay. Just call them sexuals. Okay. I'm ahead of the sexuals. Are you a sexual? What are you then? I'm a I'm a I'm a man. A heterosexual man. Yes. So you're a sexual. Are you ahead of yourself? I'm ahead of the heterosexuals and the sexuals. All right. 
I'm in a, I'm a, I'm a class of my own. Which is what? Sukiana follows me. How about that? You're in a class of your own, which is what? What did Your class, what does it go after? I got girls that sell to? coochie following me. I think everyone does. Every woman sells coochie. Well, not everyone, but a lot of women sell coochie. Verified with two million followers? Shout out to Sukiana. Um, I'm selling coochie. Would you say Suki? Oh. I have a girlfriend. I can't answer that question. Ah, shit. But okay. hypothetically, 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 off the record, oh, full if, disclosure, off the record, hypothetically, if you were single, if you never met your woman from, uh oh, baby ghetto, baby ghetto, what you hit? What up, Des? About time you made your Des. What's up, Des? The people's champ. The people's. Would favorite. I hit Sukiana Des if uh, you were single? If I was single, yes. I'm not gonna lie. I would for free. Not, I'm not paying her enough, and she's not paying me enough. Sexy I'm, red, sexy red. I would rather get her pregnant than have sex. Like I would just inseminate her, like you know, what I'm saying, get my sperm and just put it in there. I don't, I, don't, I don't. This is you a lot. Get her pregnant? Why would you get sexy red pregnant? Because I feel like she's financially stable enough to have have my kids. You know what I'm saying? At this point of age, and she's young. She's a little wild, ain't it? I mean, it, she'll grow out of it. You know what I'm saying? She'll have a black china face. You know what I'm saying? Would you kiss Miss Be Nasty? I would not do anything to her. I would not fuck Sukiana. You're going to pay me to. I would definitely lay up with Sexy Red, though. Would not get her pregnant, though. Yep. I'm confused. Why are you so against Sukiana? Not attracted to her. Um, I think she's a, a... I don't think she's as freaky as she claims to be. And what she called herself, Suki with the Gucci? Any chick that self-proclaims her coochie is good, it typically turns out to be mid. For my personal Sometimes it be torch. From my personal experience. I mean, but she's on full blast with it. Like that's if I mean a chick that has her shit that's really, really like that, that's really torch, like, is she really gonna put it out there for the world? All right, know? question, question. Have you ever had a one night stand? Yes. Multiple or one? More than one. I've only had one one night stand. Really? And it was the wildest night ever. That's in good or bad. Can I tell you a story? Please do. All right. So me and my man, we go to the club called MK Lounge on U Street. Go to U Street, go inside. I see this girl, she's chilling outside. Go in the club, get in a section. We party in the section. I see her in upstairs again, and I don't say nothing, and I, I'm about to leave the club. As I'm in the club, I see her again. I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to say something. Go to her, I was like, hey, what you doing tonight? What you about to get into? It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, what you about to get into? Time. You know what I'm saying? Just, just trying my hand, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She giving me all green lights, like, we go. Oh, it's our first time Lincoln. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's boy. you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's like giving me all the great green lights. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, I stayed with my mom at the time. So I'm, I'm trying to uh, figure out like how I'm going uh, to bring her to my house without a car. Mm -hmm. I can't take her in the metro at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So my right hand man, uh, I'm going to call you Robin. I'm Batman for this year. But uh, my go. man Robin. Yeah. Uh, Came through in the clutch, uh -huh. uh, brought his one night stand uh -huh. to the apartment, uh -huh. and uh, I clapped her cheeks in the bathroom. Nice. How was it? It was amazing. There we go. Uh, rubber, yeah. rubber, and oh, I was raw. Say, did you go sushi? Rubber, rubber, raw. Two rubbers, and now I'm raw. <sighs> and then I was like, "Oh my god, this shit is torch." Left the left the left her alone. Left her in the bathroom to clean, take a shower and shit. Came. She came out. She gave me her number. I text her good night. The next morning, she texted me good morning. I texted her how's your day, and it was red. So I called. That? So I, I'm not thinking nothing of it. So I, I left nothing alone. I tried calling her, and then she, uh, I remember I got her Instagram. So I'm looking for her Instagram, and it's called For the Thrill. Yeah. So for the thrill. So she's selling it. Yeah. Mm. And you hit it raw, brother. You hit it raw, brother. I'm clean though. I got to test it, but yeah. Yeah. Damn. Her IG name is For the Thrill. Number what was, four. What, what link was in her bio? It was just a flag of an island, a Spanish island. You no, know I'm saying what um by what link? Does she have a link in her bio to like either a Cash App or a? No, I didn't pay for anything. I'm saying, but like her. It's, oh no, no, she don't have no Cash App. No, it was yeah. just a private page that. Just oh, blocked yeah, it was me. private too. Yeah. And you're clean. Yeah, I'm clean. I don't got nothing. I, I, good. I, you know. You didn't burn. Yeah. Just me, just me. Yeah. I've been burned too. I, yeah. I, 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 it's been I, sh I should have known. Her place was dirty. She didn't have no soap. 
And when she was bent over, she had crumbs in her bum. Bro, for I, I didn't get burnt. I got uh, I just had to wash it off. If that makes sense. Like, then you ain't get burnt. I no a pill. No, I had I had to take pills too. It was just like to get it, make sure. You the, took I, it for precautionary purposes. I had to take a pill because I was fucking on fire, brother. That shit wasn't fun. Oh man. And it was crazy. Fuck it. No, nah, I'm not gonna say the last. No, part. You, 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 you don't have to say it. Yeah, no, I don't want no, your corner. No, so no, we can cut, we can cut that out. We can cut that out. No, no, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, listen, listen. <laughs> uh, listen, Andy. Um, we've been looking forward to this episode for the longest, and 100 percent was worth it because it was a very natural conversation. <laughs> I had like four bullet points that we went over. The other was just off the top. This is okay. very natural flow convo. I appreciate you for popping up. I appreciate you for you know uh, spending some of your time in Charlotte with me on this show with Desi um and, and and this was great you know what I mean so uh you know what did you say after this you should go to sleep we are going out after this right I'm the, going the AKA, outside with the AKAs I was gonna say the AKAs are in town ski they in town you gotta say ski I told myself it's gonna be productive tonight so we'll see what happens we're going out with the AKAs tonight with the sexy red AKAs shit well we'll just gonna be that sexy that. pink they're gonna be Italy, Nicki Minaj we'll leave it at that do you have anything for the folks before we get out of here uh, everybody's happening in my uh, social medias. It's Andy the Boss on social medias uh, everywhere. Uh, I got music, uh, Andy the Boss, A N D Y T H E B O S S. I got Instagram, A N D Y T H E B O S S, and it's yeah. dots in between. It's grammatically correct. And then I got uh, YouTube, Anderson T Hall. Make sure y'all tap in and shout out my family that came by. Love y'all. I'm gonna put thank it. you, Day. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. We finally made this happen. It was dope. And of course, thank everybody for tuning in, whether you're watching, listening, um, catching the clips on, you know, social media, uh, whatever it is. I truly appreciate y'all for tapping in. Shout out to the day to the day party. If you tune into the podcast, you're officially a member of the day party. So shout out to the day party. Shout out to Desi Des, of course. Um, make sure that y'all like, subscribe, share this out. Keep the algorithm flowing. That way you can be kept up to date with more episodes, more content, more day by day podcast. Shout out to Andy. That man, I'm going to try to remember your intro. Andy, so handy. R.I.P. Uncle Randy. And a cut like peroxide, so something. That's close. That's that's a good guess on the first time appreciate hearing it. Appreciate that, it. You got, you got like an 8 out of 10. I appreciate that. You know I, 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 I have you. a good memory. I have a freakish good memory. Like, I'll remember people from back then. I'll be like, yo, what's up? It's like, uh, hi. Yeah, I be like freak, So I had to stop that shit. Like, but yeah. I have a good memory. Um, but like I said, shout out to y'all for tuning in. Until next time, make sure that y'all stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, stay blessed. We out this joint. Peace. We out. Yes, sir.